Well, here's the second video on this uh, power plant I built. Um, I've cleaned things up a little bit. I've removed all the capacitors from the system. Now, we won't have nobody saying that I'm packing all the power in the capacitors and not charging the batteries. Uh, right here, I want you to see there ain't nothing coming in. No wires coming in from outside source it's simply these right here those are the leads off of my tester 1202 in the batteries as you can see right now we're 23.79 uh, in both batteries excuse me that 1202 is just the primary the the battery I'm running the machine off of um, here's my Amps coming out of the motor on two legs. Um, like I said, I've cleaned things up a little bit. No capacitors. Still, everything else is the same. <laughs> All right. I'm going to quit John and fire it up. So, you know, there's no wires coming in anywhere. Not even underneath. <clears throat> White one's my neutral, as you know. I explained in the first video. Anyway, here we go. I balanced it better so it's not banging around all over the place. Okay, we're at 2415, 14, we're 1176 in the battery showing, 75. And then we'll see what she wants to do. Point eight eight on each leg. It will take a little bit. And she's slowly charging, as you can see. Eleven seven three. Twenty-four seventeen. One point three six amps. Twenty-four eighteen. Twenty-four nineteen. So how do you explain that, people? If this, this thing's charging, and it's running and charging its own battery system, and you got these airheads on doing videos saying that you can't create a self-loop power plant. It has to be Bendini or one of these other type of low-voltage high current motor apparatus but no you don't all you need to do is just well do like I said and modify a hoverboard motor the video in my website shows how to do it and marry it to a washing motor a magnetic three phase washing machine motor and like I said the only modification I've done to that motor that washing machine motor is put that white wire in it that and it's a neutral on the very end of all of the windings you'll find all three legs are tied together well you just attach it right there to where they're all tied together and that'll give you a neutral and that neutral will work in with each of those three phases
Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. You don't got to have all them capacitors and stuff in the loop to make to make this thing charge. It, yeah, it charges just a little faster with the capacitors in in the circuit, but you don't got to have them. You don't have to have them at all in the system. Eleven point seven two. I think we've dropped uh, one tenth of a volt. And then what is this? Yeah, I'll give or take. We're twenty four thirty now. Eleven point seven two. Now that's not the true voltage in the battery. That's just minus what I'm running on. As soon as I shut it off, that 11.72 will start rising, and it will go back up above 12. Only 31. 32. I stand corrected. Point eight eight on my amps yet. Go must have been getting interference underneath the underneath the machine. Let's put it over here. Let's go this one. Yeah, we're looking at point point nine zero amps AC amps coming out before it goes into the transformer. Thirty-five, twenty-four point three five, and I think we're losing one more tenth of a volt, but we gained that in our charging of the both both batteries. Well, so we shut her down to see what kind of charge we got on the system. Kill the power. Twenty four fifteen. You're still settling. She's still rising. Ninety six, The tester getting finicky, wanting to go to sleep on me. 2410. Now, mind you, we only had this thing running for about 15 minutes. Still rising.
408. Both batteries. Another tester wanting to go to sleep on me. We're through with him for the time being. Eleven point ninety nine. Another minute, it'll be up to twelve. Anyways, that's my story. I'm sticking to it, people. We're all sitting at over twenty four volts in the battery system now. If I let it run, and it'll run running right up to twenty five volts. And you don't need to pack too much more than that in a battery system. It will, it'll do that, but it takes a little bit longer to higher up your charge. Now, if it's a 36 volt system, then it'll charge that 36 volt system just as adequate as it's charging the 24. Now there are no capacitors in this system, so that's you, that is what's in batteries, not being soaked into the batteries from the capacitors. That little fella ought to be turning shortly. Yeah, check it out. Back up to 12. We were at 12.01 when we started, and it'll be at 12.01 shortly. And possibly 12.02. And we're at 24.06. Well, that concludes the test, people. As you can see. Yeah. We've got a self-loop charging power system. Anyway, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Like it or not. Let's see. We're at 24.05. And at 12. Shake the world, people. Make it yours. Do what they, can, what they say you can't. More things are possible than they'll admit. That's for darn sure. <laughs>